today I'm going to go through the process of enabling parental control um, on my ASUS RTAC86U router running Merlin firmware. We're going to be using three resource within the Merlin firmware to configure parental control. We're going to be using the web and application filtering, time scheduling, and DNS filtering. So let's get started. First of all, um, just make sure that you're up to date to the latest Merlin firmware. And I am currently on the latest as of this recording, which is 386.7 underscore 2. To find out the latest, um, please check out uh, one of my other videos on how to update the Merlin firmware. So we're going to first of all go to the parental control settings, web and application filter. We are going to enable this. In this option, you would have uh, predefined uh, menus. You can see you have adult, and if you select the option for the adult, it would give you uh, additional subcategories which you can actually use for filtering. So on the adult, you have pornography, legal and violence, gambling. On the instant messaging, you would have internet telephone, instant messaging, virtual community, blog, mobile. P2P uh, and file transfer and peer-to-peer -peer sharing and streaming and entertainment you have games media streaming and internet radio television today we are going to enable for uh, adult content so first of all you would select the specific option you want you can select multiple if you would like but we are going to test it um, on adult sites Next, you would select the client. Uh, you only have one connected right now, so I'm going to select that. Make sure that it's uh, tick meaning enabled when you select add. And you can make any other changes you would like, either add or remove any option you would like. The website we're going to be testing this on would be a sample site that is used by OpenDNS, which is example okay I made a small mistake okay so this is just a sample site uh, created by open DNS to test um, your parental control on your um, router or devices or your configuration so we're going to lead that up. As you can see right now, I have access to it. I am going to go back and I am going to apply the settings. Okay, and I am going to go back to my website. So I am just going to close this down and I'm going to open it back up again. Okay, so as you can see, it actually filtered this particular web page and it categorized it as adult and pornography. So definitely this is f functioning. So the next option you we can use would be to use time scheduling. So you would select time scheduling tab and we would not be selecting the first option which says enable block all devices we would be selecting the second enable time scheduling okay as you can see i have an error here and as you can see um, the date is incorrect um, making sure that the date and time is correct is very important for the time scheduling of the feature 
and as you can see it's 12:58 a.m and it's showing here uh 23:58. so i am one hour behind so that's why you're getting this error message right here so i am going to select this it's going to take me to my system and where i can actually change the time zone so i am currently in mountain standard time and i would select apply and then i would return to parental control time scheduling and i would enable time scheduling so as you can see right now my time is actually synced up correctly it's 12:59, which is 0059 okay so first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to leave it as time because we're going to be using time to actually um, detect and allow systems access to the internet so as i'm going to use my only workstation here i'm going to select the add on the add and delete and we're gonna edit the time management by selecting this little pencil okay there are some prefine that actually is there already so I am just going to remove them for now and I'm going to select the add button what that does it gives me a granular um, option where I can select the off time schedule so for now uh, we're gonna select a zero one it's 1 a.m. so we're going to let's say we're going to put it to 0 1 um, we're going to select 0 1 here as well and we're going to put it to 0 2 so what does that says is that I am only giving this computer one minute of access from 0 1 or I would be removing access, a matter of fact, from 01 to 02. So as you can see here, I'll click Finish, click on Apply. Right now is one past one. So this workstation should not have access to the internet. And I would select Apply here as also. So the time right now is 101 minute and 26 seconds so if I try to go to msn.com I will not be able to access msn.com I can try cnn.com and it would give me this uh, warning right here which says the device is now blocked or unable to access the internet the device has been blocked from accessing the internet so the time scheduling does work so as you can see right now, um, it does work. So what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be waiting for just a few seconds here. So now it's 102. So right now you should have access. This device should have access to the internet. So let's go back up and test that. And we can try CNN.com. msn.com and as you can see um, internet access is now being restored to that device one other option um, in regards to configuring parental control would be using DNS filtering what DNS filtering does is that if uh, someone changes the DNS um, IP addresses on their workstation to point to a different um, DNS, which um, is being set for parental control or uh, web filtering, this would prevent them from actually making that change or bypassing the filtering uh, parental control on the device. So we're going to go to administration. We're going to, I'm sorry, we will go to LAN and we would select DNS filtering and we would enable dns based filtering 
but the first option that you would need to leave would be global filter mode you leave that as router this enables all other devices to use the router as the dns um, resolution server you would remove any other option that you would have here and you would select the client mac address so my one machine and we would select some predefined configuration here so system on the system you have no filtering router custom one two and three which is in the background here unfiltered would be cloud fair this is more or less you know you're not filtering any information security filters uh, deals with malicious contents or malicious and sexual contents but the option we're going to be using is family friendly filter and this filters malicious software sexual um, contents proxy vpn and a mixed content so the one that i would be using would be open dns family select add and i would apply okay just to verify that our dns filtering is functioning what i'm going to do is go back to parental control and i'm going to remove and disable the web and application filter okay what this does is that the router would not be doing any filtering it would be the dns that i have set up um, for filtering instead and i'm going to continue using that same example adult site that we're going to be using for testing as well and as you can see open dns is actually doing the filtering for me so you can see this site is blocked due to content filtering okay and it gives you um, this is blocked by cisco which is being used by open dns okay. so this is how you would actually enable parental control by using the web application filters time scheduling and also dns filtering thank you again for watching um, do not don't be afraid to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video in our series. Thank you very much.